Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to another episode of Microsoft Flight Sim 2024. So we did a video a few weeks ago about how to fix broken scenery and by clearing the cache. So if that fix hasn't worked for you, I've found another fix that should get you up and running. So I've noticed in quite a lot recently with the inner build scenery particularly seems to be the most prominent of issues uh, with issues with scenery blocks. And what I mean by that is so I've had a few flights recently where I've basically ta landed off the runway, taxied off, and then there's been this solid block wall, which you can see along here. So I thought initially, is this a flight sim issue or is this a inibuilds issue? And it turns out it is an inibuilds issue. Uh, I'm on there for a month for Stansted, for example, um, and it's uh, causing quite a big issue really uh, for a lot of people however I have managed to find a fix for that and it's a really really straightforward fix so what we need to do is head into Microsoft Flight Sim so you can still have the scenery installed that's absolutely fine and what we want to do is go onto the main page of Microsoft Flight Sim 2024 ignore my uh, FPS counter in the corner so what you want to do is you want to go onto the marketplace so this big marketplace tab here so we click on that and then we go to my library. So this is basically your content manager for the whole of Flatsim. And basically what you want to do is I type the airport code in, so EGSS for Stansted. And you'll probably notice one of these is going to say that it's disabled. So this option here, scenery 4.1.0 or 10.0. So this is the Microsoft Flatsim default scenery. So what you need to do on this, you see, is you can, so obviously I've got this disabled. You click on that to disable it at the bottom. So where enable is, it would say disable. And obviously, as you can see further down here, there is also another option here saying it's installed. So although it says Microsoft 2020, this is not actually not 2020. This is uh, add-on scenery from the community folder. Um, which is our Innibuilds scenery. Let me just see if I can find that for you. So that's the uh, London Stansted scenery. Um, as you can see, I've not got 2020 installed. I've got 2024 installed. And obviously in the configuration file, you can uh, you can fig fiddle with that. So I've just disabled cars just because they uh, have quite a lot of FPS issues, to be fair. So that should actually fix your entire problem. So what I'll do is I'll quickly show you that. Now it's all disabled. And we'll just launch straight into the sim and i'll just quickly show you that it is now fixed this issue so you just load into it i'll just load in normally give it a couple of minutes just to catch up with everything so i thought this wouldn't actually work if i'm honest um i was just having a bit of a fiddle about with it and i thought well let's give it a try and see if it works and it worked first time, so it's clearly an issue um, between disabling or with these any builds isn't automatically disabling the software in the background. And it doesn't do it with every airport, it only does it with a few airports that I've got. Uh, there is another one that we did a, well, a few months ago now, a flight we did a few months ago, very, very similar issue, um, which caused me to basically taxi completely off the, uh, off the ground. So hopefully this will work for all of you. Uh, well, that's what I'm hoping anyway. So we're just waiting to load into the sim. It's the first time I've launched it this morning, so it's probably going to be a little bit on the slow side. And then I'll show you uh, how it all appears in the sim and that there's no issues now. So we're just waiting for the sim to catch up. So we're ready to fly. That's us on the ground here at Stansted. So what I'll do, I'll just... Uh, just to prove a point to you, what we'll do is we'll just do it to the ready format. We'll release the parking brake. And basically, we'll just uh, go for a two tool down the road. But as you can see at the minute, there is no scenery blocks here. Everything is very smooth, um, as to be expected. What we'll do, we'll taxi down here just so you can see the whole airport. And let's fix this issue. Um, I was quite surprised that it did work, though, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, I did think that it probably wouldn't work. Anyway, let's just uh, show you that it works. 
You know, might notice there's not as much grass and stuff. Um, that's due to I've got the fauna settings turned off. We are going to do another video for my newest settings. Um, so previously here there was a big scenery block here. You couldn't get off this taxiway at all. Um, the scenery is lovely for a minute, but it was absolutely lovely. It's just obviously it's not very convenient when you're on the Batson network and uh, you can't get off the uh, off the runway. But what we'll do is we'll uh, just sort of show you. So it was along this line here really where there was issues. Um, it is a bit hilly in places, but that is how stance it is. There is quite a few different hills to be fair. Um, as you can see, there's literally no issues with the scenery blocking here at all now. What we'll do, we'll uh, prove that. So we'll turn off on the next taxi on the right, which is actually where I had the issue, to be fair. So then let's turn off on the right, and as you can see, this seems to now be fully resolved. I we'll probably just need to break it down a touch though. But as you can see, there's literally no issues there now with scenery blocks. You can get straight onto the taxiway, no problem at all. So hopefully this fix will work for not only stance the scenery, but also all the other sceneries as well. So if you've cleared the cache and it's not working as in that other video, um, then give it a bash with uh, disabling the default airport and see if that works for you. Because it certainly worked for me. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, we wish you a pleasant day. Don't forget to join us on our Discord page. Um, so that is a new and upcoming thing that we are trying to push. Uh, it's a big community hub for, for all our subscribers. Um, it's got some downloadable pages on there, uh, liveries, uh, cabin packs, loads of stuff on there that we use within our streams, and also a little bit more about my sort of setup um, and go from there. So I hope this video has helped you guys, and we'll see you again in another video. Bye for now.